communicate with you what we believe God has given us to say today. Yahweh, praise the Lord. I love that song. I've used it on both of my podcasts, and I have, uh, I just love listening to that song. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Hey guys, it is Lori and Jackie, and we are here with Transformational Ministries today. This is a ministry where we kind of just, we just let the Holy Ghost speak. We just let the Holy Ghost speak. Um, I try, on my other podcasts, I do try to, you know, come with the word already, Um, but here we just want that prophetic element, that prophetic uh, message to flow, and I feel like God wants to start this year off. No, He doesn't want to start this year off. He wants to give you some clarity to start this year off so that you're not doing the same thing that you was doing last year. You have a desire on the inside of you to do something different, but you don't really know how to achieve the goal um, of what it is that you're looking for. But here's the thing. You know, I just sense in my spirit that, you know, the Lord just looked at his people and, you know, just felt like some of you started out right. You wanted to bring something to this culture that already exists. You wanted to bring the word. You wanted to bring ministry. You wanted to, you know, get into this culture and try to change it for the kingdom. But what has happened is many of you have gotten swallowed up by this kingdom, by this culture. And now what you're doing is you're trying to be relevant in a Mm -hmm. culture that's not your own. You're trying to be relevant in a world, in a culture that's not your own. And so what's happening now is you've been running into this frustration of, 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 of not doing or being or having enough, and you don't understand. So to you, it looks like you just need to do more. You need to be more consistent. You need to put yourself out there more. But actually, what's happening is you're simply just being swallowed up Mm -hmm. by the culture. So we're going to pull back just a little bit. And, uh, well, first of all, 
Happy New Year. Amen. Praise God. Happy New Year. Okay, so we, I tell you what, we sure don't sound like it's a happy new year. <laughs> you know, uh, right now where we're located at, we have a mask, and uh, it is kind of difficult to talk with this mask on, so I'm going to keep trying to adjust mine. So if you're here, a muffle me, and then a clear me, a muffle me, and a clear me, that's why. But, um, yeah, so um, let's let's go Let's start with some of the things that I was writing down mm. concerning what I was uh, perceiving. Um, I had wrote down that you're trying to be relevant in a world and a culture that is not your own. Now, the Bible says we're in this world. Yeah, yeah. We are in this world, but we are not of this world so we're here working on behalf of the lord we're here bringing forth the kingdom of god into this world that is dying and in desperately in desperate need of a savior and so we have a mission here in this world and i know for some people that's difficult to understand it's because well i was of this world uh before i got saved actually you were not you were not of this world because if you were, you would have just been, you would have never come out. But you came out when you heard the call because you're not of this world. Oh, yeah. You belong to the Lord. You've always belonged to him. You've always been him. The problem was you didn't know it. You were dead in sin and in trespasses, so you didn't know it. You were in darkness. There was no light. But when the light came, you didn't repel the light. You came yeah, to the yeah. light. Yeah. You came to the light. Now, in John uh, 3, John 3, I think it is, John three sixteen. yeah, down below that, he talked about uh, the people that, you know, when the light appeared, they, they don't want the light. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't want to be, they don't want to, because the light, they love darkness. And the light shines on darkness. It reveals the, you know, it reveals yeah, the yeah. things of darkness. And so they don't want the light. But when the light came, you came to the light, right? So we are in this world, but we're not of it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is now we know that we're not. Um, and this, this, this trying to be relevant in a world and culture that's not your own. Let me tell you what that really means. That means that you're trying to be important. Mm. Yeah. You're trying to be accepted. You're trying to be a part of what's going on. That's what you're doing. You're trying to, here you are, a born again believer, a child of God, and you're trying to go out here and, and, and be accepted and be relevant in a culture that was not designed for you. It was not uh, made for you. And here's the thing. You're trying to be a part of it, and it's done at the expense of your salvation. Yeah, and they said, you know, this culture hates us because it hated him. So it also hate us also. So, yeah, we, we just, like I said, you know, just kind of pilgrim passing through this land who does not, that does not like us, care, not care for uh, the, the, the faithful. Yeah, yeah. And so what are you doing? You started out well. You started out trying to bring a scripture. You started out trying to, you know, bring a word and things like that. But slowly you morphed because you had to start trying to shape that word so that it would be acceptable with what you were doing. You had to be doing something, and then you would tack a scripture onto uh, it of, and, yeah, and make it very general so that everybody mm -hmm. could accept it and you didn't become threatening to anybody, you were non-threatening, but the well, the true Christian is threatening to everybody. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Not, not, not the, not the, not the believers, but the world, because you're bringing something that shines light on behavior that's contrary to the Lord. So mm -hmm. when you're in this culture and you're doing something for the Lord, if you're not shining a light through the Word of God to a people that need 
you know, rescuing. They they need to be healed. They need to be brought in. If you're not doing that, you are simply now trying to, you know, present the the the, the scriptures, what you say, just out of context. You just put a scripture mm -hmm. out there and you bring forth this 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 message that is it's non challenging at all. You know, I just hear uh, as as a believer, and you're trying to adjust to this culture, you're just out of place. You just you're out of place. It's just they don't match. It's like this zig, zigzag puzzle that does not match. You're trying to cut it, cut it to make it match, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't match. Doesn't match. You, you know, you it does not match. You, you have know, uh, you know, yeah. You, you 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 see believers on um on 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 these social media platforms and the women are making you know seductive looks and touching their hair and doing all of that and you you think to yourself i i imagine what they're thinking is you know i'm just doing what i gotta do to draw people in and then i'll tell them about the lord well he's not enough just Give them the word. Absolutely. If you want to be out there and you want to be in this culture and you want to do a work for the Lord, just give them the word. But what you're doing is you're giving them a lot of other stuff mm -hmm. and then you attack on a, 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 a scripture at the end. Now you, you're, you're selling yourself and you're selling beauty and you're selling. Really, you've fallen into a trap. Absolutely. That's that's what has happened. Uh, uh, these are just some things I had wrote down before we got to this. Um, you have placed your culture satisfaction and acceptance, this relevance above God satisfaction with you. You know this is big. You got the you got to be able to 